Congressional probes into the alleged Russian collusion are taking a new turn and might extend into the new year amid mounting evidence of wrongdoing by Hillary Clinton. One America's Christian Rose has the story. Democrats are pushing to extend their congressional investigations into alleged Russian collusion into 2018. Some lawmakers say the probes should end before the new year, as they have failed to produce the results Democrats had hoped for. However, there is mounting evidence of alleged wrongdoing by Hillary Clinton. For a long time, we've heard about all the ties between the Trump campaign and Russia, for which there is no evidence. And lo and behold, despite serious Democrat opposition, we have uncovered uh, that the DNC was working with Russian actors to try to uh, besmirch Donald Trump's reputation. Three congressional committees are focusing on a meeting held at Trump Tower last year, which included Donald Trump Jr. and the Russian lawyer Natalia Veselnitska. While the mainstream media and most Democrats claim the meeting was related to the election, actual hard evidence shows the meeting was a lobbying attempt related to a 2012 Russian sanctions package called the Magnitsky Act. Russian lawyer Sergei Magnitsky was arrested and killed back in 2009 after he learned of some 10,000 corrupt Russian officials who transferred their money into American banks. One thing we could do in the West when they do these terrible crimes is not to let them come to the West, to not let, let them keep their money in the West. And that was the genesis for the Magnitsky Act. There were, there were two uh, effectively agents of the Russian government who went to Donald Trump Jr. and said, um, can, can you help us withdraw this act if your father gets elected president. A separate probe by the House Intelligence Committee has largely admitted there is no evidence so far of the alleged collusion. However, Republicans on the committee are becoming increasingly interested in the corruption related to the Obama-era Uranium One deal and have launched a separate probe into Hillary Clinton's alleged bribery and the sale of political influence in D.C. under the past administration. This is uh, just the beginning of this probe. Uh, we are uh, we're not going to jump to any conclusions at this time, uh, but one of the things, as you know, that we're concerned about is whether or not there was an FBI investigation, was there a DOJ investigation, and if so, uh, why was Congress not informed of this matter? Finally, during the Senate Judiciary Committee's probe, it was revealed two Clinton allies, Fusion GPS and the Podesta Group, both received money from the Clintons and foreign entities, including Russia and Saudi Arabia, to advance foreign business interests. Absolutely no evidence uh, to this point of any collusion between Trump and Russia, uh, and that's been going on for over a year. GOP lawmakers are insisting the DOJ and Congress focus on probing Hillary Clinton and her reported involvement with high-profile corruption and foreign meddling in U.S. politics. This rather than continuing to waste time, effort and taxpayer money investigating a conspiracy theory which the Russian collusion narrative has been proven to be. Christian Rose, One American News.